Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process, except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. Last night, I was reading in bed when my husband started massaging my shoulders. You know what that means. So I quickly said, I'm way too tired for sex, babe. And he said, we only have sex like once a week. You're always so tired. And it really got me thinking, how often are married couples supposed to have sex? So I Googled it, naturally. And that's when I found The Relatable Report. It's a free resource for married couples, and it delivers research-backed relationship advice to your inbox every Friday. Check it out and sign up at RelatableReport.com. What's up? It's your boy, the Ben Smith. Thanks for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Want more? Check out the greatest podcast in all the land, the podcast. Be sure to subscribe and listen to a brand new episode every Tuesday night. KISW. We return to the Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. Our question besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? 206-421-ROCK. We have a couple of examples of how it happens, all right? It says my nieces and nephew called her Grandma Grandma T. One of them can't say it right. So they call her Gracky. Now, everyone calls her Gracky, right? My son is named Oliver. We call him Baby or The Baby. We say it all the time. Now, he thinks his name is Baby. He will say, not Oliver. My name is Baby. Says mm-hmm. it's hilarious and cute. I My cousin a, a... is named Erica. I couldn't pronounce it as a child, so I called her Kaka. Now, basically, I called her Poop, but now the whole family still calls her Kaka to mm-hmm. this day. My cousin Oliver is Ollie. Ollie, right, and it'll never Everybody change. calls him Ollie. Besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? 206-421-ROCK. Hello, Aman. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, bitchola. Hola. All righty, guys. So um, I'm an identical twin brother. My brother's name is Anthony, and I got the fun Indian name named Aman. So uh, obviously I respond to Anthony, Antoine, all of his nicknames on top of mine. But mine's like Mom, Almond, you know. Hey, man. Anything hey, like man. Yeah, I, I think I'd call you hey, Amon. Man. I figured do- uh, Bob D- Bob Marley was your doctor when you were born. Mm-hmm. It is a man. Mm-hmm. So, only if. But um, the ones I think you guys might like was the, the jabs my friends used to give me in high school. Um, a little on the racist end, but some of them were funny because I'm Indian, not Middle Eastern. But some of them concluded of like Prince Habibu, um, <laughs> Tune Tune, and then Sand, and then the N-Bomb. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, look. I mean, I Thanks. No, I've you know, discovered all- everybody is an N-Bomb, <laughs> right? Now, as a black dude, I'm just an N-Bomb. There are terms for people from Canada, people from India, people from the Middle East, Canada. people from Australia. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me right now. Well, they were all uh, India, Southeast Asia, so I always thought it was hilarious. Jesus. Never bothered me at all. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I found a list once, and they're like, like it doesn't matter where you're from. There's there's a pretty face they put in. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> you're from Canada? Yeah. Oh, man, you ain't nothing but. I'm like, Jesus, man. I'm like, I'm in a, like, right. Brutal. That's yeah. brutal. And I'll oh, trust me, I know. I know. Which is funny, because I've worked in bars and restaurants where Canadians was just the term. Right. Canadians was the term for black people. Yeah, you got a four top of Canadian. Mm-hmm. Or remember, the first time yeah. I ever heard that was when I moved to Baltimore. I never heard that. That's term where before. I picked it up. Yeah. PG County, Bal- yeah, that's DC, Baltimore. Yeah. Right? There are a lot of black people there. You better come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? It's like 60 40. Like, bro, you need to come up with a code bird. You can get your ass kicked. <laughs> Remember, years ago, we had a guy. Uh, <laughs> he worked at a large department store that people are fond of. I'll just say that. And he said, and, and he wasn't really throwing them under the bus, but he's on the air and he goes, oh, yeah, man, where I work. And he says the name of the store. Reference, oh, we love that place. He's like, well, we had code words uh, for black people as well. So if you hear, well, he's someone, doing he's doing security, right? He does security. He does security. So when you you, you use the intercom for right. whatever to page reason. him so that other people couldn't figure it out. I remember this place freaked the hell out because they reached out not to us but like to our bosses, and I said, "Look, man, it's their code, not ours. All we did was it was like, like a number or something. It was it was it was yeah. it wasn't defamatory, but it, it meant that. But it meant that, right? right. Exactly. I don't know if they still do, but cops use numbers." I'm sure like, they like do. in PG yeah. County, like a number one male would be a black male. I think number two was like white. Number three was like Hispanic. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Huh? 
We're number one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're the best. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yay me. Let it break it down. <laughs> but like, I remember like listening to a couple like cops that, and one dude was a black cop, but they're just they're just going back and forth like, oh, it's a number number one bubble, and I'm like, what are you guys talking about? I'm like, oh, we just well, granted, it's a the blackest county in America, but like, yeah, right. So just like that's how we say it, mm-hmm. huh? Okay, okay. Why couldn't they just say black whale, whale, <clears throat> black or white or, or right? Because if I'm looking for a I suspect, know. I don't need code at that point. You know, like right. who am I looking for? I don't That's know if it's code or just trying to get it out quicker. Oh yeah, maybe so. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think they have like, let's not do it the real quick way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that police department didn't have the best <laughs> reputation, right. so stick with the numbers. Yeah. Besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? 206-421-ROCK. Hello, Martisa. Welcome to the men's room. Ahoy, ahoy, and hola. Hola. Martisa. Yes. So, Martisa is my given name. Nobody on the planet calls me that. Everybody calls me Tisa or but then I also have the nickname We Tiny Way for my family or We Way or Tiny and then the worst nickname that I've ever had was from high mother for that your mother <laughs> because <laughs> so she got into an argument with a friend of mine when I was like 15, 16 he told her to S a you know what and she said, you don't want me to because I'll suck your... And since then, I just got dubbed the princess. <laughs> okay. Wow. Because wow, she's the queen. You know, typically, if you have that kind of nickname, not from your parents. No one cares. You know, like, oh. I can promise my kids this much. I will not give you that nickname. That will not be for me. Subsequently, I hope your friends don't tell me that is your nickname. Because mm-hmm. then we have to have a conversation. Hey, baby, come here for a minute. I, you know, it's just it's your nice. life. Why do they call you mm-hmm. those? Besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? 206-421-ROCK. Hello, Matt. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, bitcholas. Hola. So, hey, guys. So, uh, my long name is Matthew. And my uh, my older brother, who's only a year older than me, uh, he couldn't say Matthew. He said Matt Chu. <laughs> so, I got the nickname Chewy. And uh, even my teachers would call me Chewy. Does it stick to this day? Well, luckily, when I went to high school, I said, you know what? Chewy's dead. Uh, We're going back to Matt. But then when I was a junior in high school, I played football. And um, uh, the coach uh, coach would have everybody come around him. And then afterwards, he'd let you go get a drink of water. So I was always on the outside, and I'd always back towards the water so I could be first. And one day the coach goes, Matt, where are you going? And I said, nowhere, coach. And he says, well, it looks like you're halfway there. (laughs) (laughs) So they took the nickname Rudy off of Super Tramp. Rudy's on a trade, and you know where he's halfway down the line. So then for 20 years I was known as Rudy. Wow, that's a weird one. What's worse, Chewy or Rudy? Oh, uh, I think Chewy's worse. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's, because, look, I, I, I'll I say this. I don't think it's a bad thing. Now, Ted, I know you love the movie, Rudy. We always, and it's a fine yeah. movie. We just make fun of the scenario. Like, your tiny dude who sucks at football, right? Right. Whatever. But, but that's the associate. If I hear the name Rudy, and that's your nickname, I assume it has to do with the movie, which tells me, you really want to do something, you're just not really you're not good, good at it. it. Mm-hmm. But the flip side is, thanks to Chewbacca, if someone calls you Chewy, like, either you can kick ass, or you're just like a really good friend, or maybe you eat a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Chewy, to me, is a positive. I, Chewy's a negative to me. Really? What do you, what do you think with Chewy? I think about a dog pleasured itself. Oh, God. Yeah, me too. Jesus. That's exactly what I think about. Sorry. Right, my right. mouth had that dog forever, and she was always doing it. But mm-hmm. that would be Licky. I just, I could hear the I sound. Should, I should have called her Lingus. I could hear the sound right now. Lingus. Oh, she put a sheen on that. God, it is the worst sound, man. <laughs> Seriously, because people in my it's building like, have dogs, so they're always ordering stuff through Chewy. Every time oh, I right, see right, one right, of those right. boxes, yeah. I can hear that sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, she cleaned that thing. You could comb your hair as like a mirror. You know what I mean? Like what she was but she did it quick. My dog currently... I ain't seen nothing that shiny since Val <laughs> Exactly. My dog, <laughs> my dog has the slow burn on this one. 
Like, ah, oh, that's oh. even worse. Like, taking her time. I know. Taking it nice and slow. That's what I mean. I'm does like, does she light a candle? And I feel bad. You only get one. Like, you only get one piece of pizza. <laughs> See, you're real slow. Yeah, right. <laughs> she's got a glass of red wine. <laughs> And I feel bad. She doesn't know what she's doing. I'm like, you need to stop. But what do you announce the fact that he changed his name when he went to high school? Like, I was done with that. Yeah, there's probably been a handful of times in my life where people have just <laughs> announced a name change like your brother did. Well, he and didn't. So, keep in mind, we, we were moving from Rochester well, to makes, Denver. That makes it easier. Well, he just said, look, I hate the name Tracy. He's okay with it now. He just knows Adrian as his name. But he said, look, when we get to Denver... Nobody knows me, and this is more for my parents. Mm -hmm. And I remember he's looking at him dead in the eyes, like, "You will call me Adrian. You will not call me Tracy." And I want to say it took him about three weeks. It takes a that. little while. Now I can't imagine. Because I mean, up until I was seven years old, he was Tracy. Tracy. I can't imagine calling him that. Now. Yeah, but, but I mean, people change their name. People change their name for a lot of different reasons, just based on you know situationally what's going on. It probably took me a month and a half. To stop calling Steve here at work with BJ and Megs, to stop calling him STP. Right. Because he went for so many years on the air as Steve the producer. I rarely called him Steve. Right. Yeah, yeah it was I mean, always I, STP. I called him STP. So it took me a while to go to Migs from that. You know what I mean? And and this has happened probably five or six times in my life where I've known someone and they have made, you know, that was a professional move, but they've done it personally based on the fact that they hated their name. We it's were gonna do a podcast together called this. <laughs> M Migs and yeah, and the boss she's like no, <laughs> but uh, this why do you hate Migs? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the uh, this one girl I I thought was pretty hot. Uh, her name was Paige, and she hated the name Paige. And I've never seen an ugly Paige. Uh, to be honest with you, every Paige I've known is. Would you sing Turn the Page when you're having sex with? Her? Like, Probably flip her yeah, over exactly. And then she changed. No, you're her right. Name. Every page I know is a tractor. Then she changed her name to Beth. In the middle of like in the middle of the school year, she's like, I want to be Beth now. And I was like, I can't do that. I was like, I just, I can't do it. She's like, why? I was like, I, I just can't do it. So I, I started calling her, uh, Paige, call me Beth. Paige, call me Beth. So I saw her at the reunion like 20 years later. I was like, Paige, call me Beth. What's up? She's like, only you. Only you. Only you. You're the only one who just wouldn't roll with it. Was you she still I mean? going by Beth at that point? Or did she go back to Paige? Was she going by oh, a no, different she name? Was Beth, I'm pretty sure. Right. I mean, I, she's like, only you. You're the only one. You're the only one who would just wouldn't accept it. Wouldn't go with it. Well, I was like, because I know he's Paige. I, so I went to, when I stayed back in eighth grade, there was a dude in my class named Jeremy. Right? But my grade school was small in a different little neighborhood. So he was the only black kid. So then we both went to summer school together. And he was like, call me Trocon. And I was like, all right. And he, I was like, why didn't I call you that before? And he was like, I like you. Those other kids would have made fun of my name. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah right. So he that switched easy. it. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, it's funny. A chick who used to work here, I still call her Sarah Jane Tinkturn. Because in the years that we worked together, I want to say went through four different names. One was intern. She one was Sarah. Yeah. yeah. So it's just Sarah Jane Tinkturn. That's how I know her. She actually <laughs> rents my place in Baltimore. And to the, if I talk to her, it's, oh, Sarah Jane Tinkturn. She was here about a year ago just to say hello. It's like, oh, Sarah Jane Tinkturn. Mm-hmm. That is not remotely her name, but I'm like, this is a combination of all the goddamn names you've given me over the years. What is her name currently? I believe she just goes by Sarah. All right. You know, she's older. <laughs> that's her name. I just, that's not who she is to me. I know her name is Sarah, but when I see her specifically, it's Sarah Jane Tinkturn. There's a million Sarahs. Hello, Rocky. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, bitches. Hola. <laughs> so what name oh. do people call you? Uh, well, so Rocky is what I always go by, but I got that nickname actually before I was even born, um, because my parents planned on calling me James, which is my real name. James Stone Swanson is my full name. And because... Wait, uh, Stone, Stone Swanson? Stone Swanson, yeah. That is a goddamn poor Good name. I know. If Stone ever, Swanson. <laughs> James Stone you, you, Swanson. You better not have a small penis with yeah, that no. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. <laughs> That, 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 I'm not going to say anything about that. Sure. Um, at least don't suffer ED. Yeah, exactly. Just at least that <laughs> <Yeah>. much. <laughs> I got a lot of years before I have to worry about that. So, um, so my grandparents, because, uh, because they knew that Stone was going to be part of my name, they thought, oh, we'll just call him Rocky. Uh, okay. And, I so see. My, parents, my, my parents were just calling me Rocky, like, the second that I was born, basically. Um, and over the years, I've heard it, all the different variations of that, like Rocco, Rocker, Rocks, all that, you know, whatever you could think of, including like Rocky and Bullwinkle, Rocky Balboa. Like it's. Came along because otherwise, the only Rocky yeah. is Rocky and Bullwinkle. 
And no offense, yeah, exactly. I could not stand that goddamn squirrel. Like, Bullwinkle yeah. was yeah. cool. Rocky always annoyed me. <laughs> Rocky Balboa, man. You know what's weird about it? I'm just thinking now. So, my brother, as far as his NFL crew goes, they call him Rocky. They do. And... I, because when you sit at dinner with these guys, it's just, I've never called him Rocky. I had never heard it before, like two or three years ago. And we're sitting at a dinner and they're like, well, no, nah, man, Rocky's cool to work with. I'm like, who's Rocky? They're like, your brother. I'm like, and I'm, I'm like, this brother right here. And they're like, yeah, I'm like, okay. I'm like, why do they call him Rocky? See if you can connect the dots. I said, well, so you got seven people on a crew. All right. And each guy, in addition to what you see them do on the field, as a traveling group, each guy has a uh, kind of a different responsibility. One person books all the trips. One person keeps track of all the money, you know, because you got to report all the stuff back to the NFL. So they say, oh, we call him Rocky because he does all the finances. Now, is there a Rocky I don't know about? I've never heard that. Like, one. they all just said that, like, I should make the connection between Rocky and does Rock the finances. Yeah, he, he keeps track of all the finances, and he's the guy you would pick to do it. And I go, okay, that's fair. I don't know how Rocky fits into that. They said it like, just like, of course you know why. He does the fine like, is he a boxer? Maybe that's it's because his name's Adrian. Adrian! Oh, that's probably... That could be it. Could be. But it has nothing to do with finances. I mean, they, they were all like, oh, well, he does the money. So I'm trying to like, famous, like, I'm thinking gangster the, movies gangster, or something. That's right. what I'm, I'm like, I don't remember. I bet it's the Rocky thing. I mean, Rocky Balboa. Maybe, but they said it's the finance thing. I, I don't know. I'm like, I, I'm not tracking with you guys. But, you know, growing up at that time, like, I, I couldn't imagine if he was in my class not calling him Adrian. Oh, he got that plenty. Okay. I was Including say, like, from me. I mean, it's yeah, just. Right. I mean, it's just so iconic. It's like, I've had two conversations since Sunday about his uh, NFL career. About my brothers? Yeah, my mom just finally connected the dots. Because he did the game she was watching on Sunday. <laughs> she just put the session <laughs> Just together. put it together. God damn. Everybody, right. And did you know? Like, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> did you know most of them are like doctors? or like yeah. Yes. Most um, lawyers. A lot of lawyers. Yes. A lot of you find very few like fast, fast food fry cooks. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. all of these That's guys. Right. like, oh, yeah, yeah, I rotate tires. You know, just, like, I got a tire shop. No, you don't. They can't be an NFL ref and just like be a plumber. But you know what that you know tells what I mean? me? That tells me you that can't. the guys that have the jobs that already pay them a lot have time on their hands. Yeah, exactly. Right? Doctors, yeah. lawyers, all these oh, sites. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. people that actually like work for a living, that does not include us. But people that actually work mm. for a living, they don't have time to do that. Yeah, even before your brother became a ref, like... That Doctors, was, dentists, lawyers. Right, if you ever watch like an NFL films thing, they, they like they would always go over that. Like, oh no, these like th this isn't just their only job. No, that's the thing. It's a part time gig that pays more than most people's full time gig. They also seem to have the time to uh, lift weights for three hours a day. You know, oh, that's Hockey League, bro. He <laughs> set a standard. And Hockey League Junior. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I know he's following his dad's footsteps. Besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? Two zero six four two one rock. Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process, except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. 20 million dollars, 19 million dollars, 6 million dollars. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too big to fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Hello, Discover here to explain our cash back match. Here's how it works. We give you cash back for using your Discover card on the things you were going to buy anyway. Then we match that cash back in your first year. And that's why we call it cash back match. Now to recap and say cash back one more time. We match all the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year automatically. Discover, exceptionally common sense. Learn more at discover.com slash match. Limitations apply. 
This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. 99.9 KISW. The men's room returns with Miles and Thrill. Coming out the return of Who Sucks Less? Right after emails on our question. Besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? 206 421 Rock. We were just talking about my brother, and I was saying his officiating friends and co workers call him Rocky. Their explanation was because he handles all the money, right? Which, I, again, went over my head. So people have some theories here. It says. Maybe your brother squirrels away all the money as the treasure. Rocky is the squirrel with the moose. Right. Someone else says it's because Rocky was a debt collector in the movie. He'd break your thumbs if he didn't pay. Little above my brother's pay grade, but what movie was Rocky the debt collector? It just says Rocky. Rocky. The first one. Oh, God, that's right. Remember? Right, like right. He... Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Or uh, Wait, was it the first one? It had to be the first one. Or maybe it was the second one when he blew all the money. Right, he's not supposed to fight again, so then Paulie gets him a job. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, uh, uh, they call him Rocky because it's short for rocket scientist. Rocky could be short for Rockefeller since he handles the money. A couple of people said that. They said, maybe your brother's nickname is Rocky as a reference to counting pebbles. And then finally it says, Thrill, didn't you say your brother's a rocket scientist? He's good with math and numbers. Rocky makes sense in that way, maybe? Okay. I don't know. I have no idea. Besides your birth name, how many other names do you uh, still answer to? 206-421-ROCK. Hello, Sheila. Welcome to the men's room. Hi. Hola. I've probably got like seven or eight different nicknames, but one of them that cracks me up the most, uh, my husband calls me Hot Pocket. I can guess why. Hot Pocket. Yeah. yeah. We just got an Oculus Go recently, and we've been playing this game on there, it's, and it's like a, like an Old West shootout thing. And the other players on there now, now call me Hot Pocket because that's what he put on the, oh. the Oculus when he was setting it up. <laughs> he, he's, he's like, I'm changing that. I'm pissed. I don't like hearing other people call you that. Ah, uh, no, it's all right. I don't, maybe they don't understand what he's conveying there. Who? Yeah. Who does not the understand husband. The husband. what the husband is conveying <laughs> about his wife if you call her Hot Pocket? The kids on there don't get it. So. Okay. I mean, unless you were on fire, I can only think of one reference to Hot Pocket. Hot Pocket. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So. That's a good one, though. Yeah. I mean, it's not. Yeah, I mean, that's a good, you know. Uh, it's positive. Maybe it's not a right. good nickname, but it is a positive nickname. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. used to go out with someone that I called T. McGee. Right. That's not really <laughs> That's not really positive. That worked out well. <laughs> Besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? 206-421-ROCK. Didn't you call my wife Booberella for a while? Booberella, yeah. yeah. You did too, though. She had big boobs. And on yeah. her first date, she wanted me to see like everything but the nipple. I mean, they were just... It was like a waterfall of breast <laughs> spilling toward me, man. Is that a Friday's? What's that? Is that the one I was at? Yeah. When we went to, when you ate the trout of, who's the band? Oh, no, no, no. I no, thought, did we go to Friday's once? Like a TGI Friday's. Friday's? You guys had only been on like one or two dates. No, like, you were on my first date. Yeah, it's like, yeah. The tattoo. first official date was at Pier 6 to see whoever the band was. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, And then you I got backstage, backstage and eating their, their food. fish and everything. <laughs> <laughs> still, real quick, still the greatest recovery of my life. What happened we're at a venue, right? So it's like, it's not very steep, but there's only right. a step every once in a while. Right, right. So I was backstage. My buddies used to run the catering for all the concerts. That's, That's how I was backstage. Back. And then, Miles, I think you left, and you were like, hey, dude, I have a ticket in the front row. Do you want it? And I said, sure. So I go up there. I have no, At this point in my life, I have no freaking clue who Cos- right. Crosby, Stills, and Nash right. are. But when I'm le- I get up to leave, and it's kind of dark, so I'm I'm hammered. I'm walking kind of fast, and I hit one of those steps, and I almost fall, right? But I get my second foot up, and I mean, I was so low to the ground. How I didn't fall over, I don't know. But, like, as I pull up, this guy just goes, great recovery. He's like, throws out his eye, high five it, and I laugh. But yeah, I could have eaten, eaten it bad. <laughs> Hello, Tanner. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, guys. How's it going? Hola. Hola. Yeah. So, um... I went through a couple nicknames, but um, 
it's funny. It's I, I'm the guy that's called in before because I've listened to you for I don't even remember how long. Um, since I was 16, we worked at a wreck. I worked at a wrecking yard. All right. We turn you guys at 99.9 every day. The moment we walked in, 99.9, 8.30, all the way till 3 o'clock in the afternoon, past that till 5. Sweet, man. Nice. And, uh, yeah, and that was just the shop radio, and that's where I first started. And But I was known as T-Money, and it was at a wrecking yard. Why were you T-Money? Yeah. Or is it just your name's Tanner, and then they just put money on the back of it? Yep. Yeah, it was just one of those ghetto things. Yeah, it was terrible. And um, we did that. But today I got a new one, um, and I work for the government now, and I um, work on uh, the submarines. But anyway, uh, now I got the nickname of Low T. Low so, T. Uh, you have Low T? No, but that's just the one I gave myself today. I went, oh, I'll, I'll switch it around. All right, so you gave and, yourself uh, your own nickname. Yeah, yeah, we were allowed to give ourselves our own names today, and I went, well, I'll go with that one. Everybody laughed. Everybody in the classroom just laughed so hard. <laughs> so, I'd have gone with Bubble Tea. It was, mm -hmm. yeah. that's it just was awesome. So. Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'd have gone with Oolong. Yeah, well, thank you, man. Yeah. We appreciate it. I'd have gone with the oolong. Like, ooh, long, ooh, long tea. tea. Why I, is it that if your name, like, that seems to be the only real I letter. Earl Grey. Where people take the first letter then add anything else, right? Like, I would never be S money. You wouldn't be M money. G money. But you, people G, have called G me works. T money. You could be G, G money. G works. Right. Yeah, definitely T money. I don't know what it is, but, like, T is the one letter in the alphabet where you're like, just add money. And it's people cool. could call you T, too. Yeah, I've heard a couple people yell that out to you. Yeah. Jason will do it, or VD will do it sometimes. Yeah, Jason, he went from Jason to VD. And yeah, it sounds like we're saying venereal disease. No, it's veggie dog. No, we got a, we got a hot dog roller, and uh, he asked if he could come in and put uh, some veg, veggie dogs on the uh, on the roller. It looked like a giant and we're dildo. Like, we're like, no, you can't. You know what I mean? Like, that's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> so he started calling him VD, veggie dog. Lucky guy. I think we eventually let him cook a couple. We did. I mean, that was just, you know, it was... After we, God, after, we got the, after we got the meat juices on the roller, you're like, here, now you put it on. Because that go. matters. Well, now, like, because that was before all the fake meats. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? 206-421-ROCK. Hello, Christina. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, guys. How are you? Oh, Hola. Hola. Doing well. <laughs> so, besides my given name, uh, which people just started calling me Christina, like, in the last five years. Actually, <laughs> um, I've gone by like 15 different names or answer to 15 different names between nicknames and actual names. Such as? <laughs> and well, Chris, Kay, Casey, Chrissy, True, Cricket, Kiki, Kit Kat, and uh, Tina. And my friend's kids couldn't pronounce my name, so they called me Katina. And mm -hmm. now Crew. Like Cruella. Cruella? Oh, how did you earn that one? Because I have the same hair. Oh, all uh, right. okay. All okay. right. Yeah, that does it. And she skins puppies. Um, I'm going to go with just the hair reference, but, you know, I'm sure it's other reasons. Oh, I'm sure. What, uh, <laughs> now, when people call you these other names, is this something they just kind of do on the fly? Um, yeah. No. I mean, there's only really two people that I let call me Chris. Oh, Chrissy, because I don't really like those, but... Now, but, why did they yeah. get a pass? Are they relatives that are older than you? Um, well, yeah, relative. One of, one of One is my brother. Okay. And he can call me anything he wants. Because he will. And um, the other one is just a good friend of mine that I've known for like 30-some years. Okay, let me ask you, with the Cruella thing, do you have a shock of white hair in the front? Uh, it's half of my head is blonde and half is brown, dark brown. Half your head yeah, is hers blonde. is white and black, but huh? Like okay. half of my head is 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 like platinum blonde. That's weird. I've never and seen that before. The other half is like dark dark brown. See, I'd have called you like Neapolitan or something. I'd have come up with something else. <laughs> you'd have to have a third color. Yeah, like yin and the yang. Hey, right? be glad about Corella because otherwise you'd have been Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, as far as the two tone <laughs> hair goes, right? That's yeah. about it. Besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? Two zero six four two one rock. Jesus Christ! Sorry. Do you remember Richard Sher back in Baltimore? Yeah. Yeah, his nickname was Ronald McDonald. You can piece together one. Oh, yeah. Hello, Joe. Welcome to the men's room. 
Mary Hanna Kwanzmas. Hola. So I uh, have Italian heritage, so of course I had all the Guido, Noodle Bender, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but for some reason, a friend of mine in high school decided to call me Hickmeister. Not entirely sure why, because I'm like a, I've been a metalhead my entire life. Uh, not exactly what one would call a hick, but he started calling me Hickmeister, and it just stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been a Hickmeister for how many years? Thirty-three. So people still, it's just Hickmeister. Yep. And that has nothing to do with any part of your name whatsoever. No, my name is Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if your name was like Joe Meister or something like that. Yeah, if I heard Hank Meister, I would just assume it's your last name. Right, a playoff of, or a playoff of it. Right. Nope, nothing at all to do with any part of my name. Okay. It's just some rando garbage he came up with one day, and all of my friends adopted it, and that's what I've been forever now. Does your last name end in a vowel? No. It doesn't. Okay, that's un that's very un-Italian of you. <laughs> no, it's the uh, so I there's also uh, French, and my my paternal grand uh, my paternal grandfather was French Canadian, so I have his last name, but Italian and Sicilian on both sides of the family. Okay, all right. So Monforti and Devasconi are the the other names. I so. just I'm assuming full stereotype. You can cook your ass off. I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you know French and Italian. Yeah, I was going to say, like, dude, you need to cook if you don't. You can make yeah, sauces. That's, that's a fact. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? 206-421-ROCK. Hello, Nathan. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. Hola. So I grew up in a family of firefighters. There was my dad, my older brother, my twin brother, and me. And um, by once my older brother left the fire hall, I was I finally got the name Smokey because otherwise I was called Little Smokey in the fire hall. So your brother was so Smokey. My older brother was Smokey. I was uh, Smokey, and then I was Little Smokey because I was the younger of the of us there. So I got called Little Smokey. But also being a twin, I also went by the name Adam. And we walked into Walmart one day with my kids, and my twin led a different life than me. I had kids at a young age, you know. And this guy calls me Adam. And I, growing up, I've always turned my head to that name. So I turned my head to that name, and this dude comes at me threatening to kick my butt in the middle of Walmart, <laughs> screaming at me. So to the point where I pull my wallet out and my ID with my children huddled behind me, and I'm screaming at this dude, I'm not him. And he finally reads my ID. He says a bunch of swear words to me and tells me, next time I see your brother, I'm going to beat him, blah, blah, blah. You know, a couple good words. So I asked my brother, I said, so what the heck? Who is this guy? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I might have slept with this girl. <laughs> I got a repercussion of it. <laughs> sorry. Might have slept with that guy's girl. <laughs> yeah, that was my hand. That was his hand. Okay. And we led a different life. He was, I, I, I was the dad, the respectable dad. My brother was out. Doing his doing his twenty ones and everything, partying sure. with the boys, having fun, and I didn't know, but I looked like him. So, oh yeah, that was a fun event. Are you so, still uh, are you still a fireman? Uh no, not anymore. I got left firefighting because uh, family. I also got doing wild land and stuff like that, and decided you know being dad a little more instead of being gone all the time would be uh, be a more proper thing. So okay. Okay. I'm now just doing the dad thing, and uh, little I'm disabled, so I can't too much but does, you know, do, it's no, awesome i love it does cool. ever does everyone in the fire in the fire department do they all have nicknames for the most part it seems like it oh, seems yeah. like a bro fest where that yeah. would kind of go down oh oh yeah everybody gets a nickname you know proby goes with everybody from the beginning because we call everybody proby at the sure. beginning of course you gotta right. do the hazy you gotta push them through you know and that that's that's to make sure and build them toughs for what they're gonna seek you know and oh yeah that happens and then you get your nickname usually from an event or something that happens out on a call or something, or, you know, and uh, it'll stick with you. So the name finds but, you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I, it was an honored heritage for me to get the last name because our last name's also Seagar. So, Smokey Seagar. Smokey Seagar. Smokey Seagar. Yeah, so, that's cool. So we stick, we stayed stuck with us in the hall, and uh, that's how we ended up getting them. Well, okay. what did they call your brother? Because you're, you're identical twins? Yep. So if you went from Little Smokey to Smokey, what is his nickname? Smokey Jr. Smokey Jr. So you went from no Smokey, Smokey to Smokey. He was Smokey, he was Smokey Jr. But he's always Smokey Jr., right? Yeah, that's what it was back in the day. All right. And, uh, but, yeah, it, it was it was a life when you're a twin, man. You uh, you get you get a lot, got to answer by someone else's name your entire life. 
Now, when they say Smokey Jr., is your brother actually a junior of your father? No. All right. And would it be insulting? This from an identical twin's point of view, all right? So I'm your yeah. dad, and I have named one of you is named after me. You're actually, and then the other one, I just pick some arbitrary name. Are you like, what's up yeah. with that, man? Yeah, I would be. Yeah, yeah. The twin thing, you don't <laughs> want to do that. If you have twins, I tell you what, you don't want to do that. And I have, a, I have a set of identical twin nieces, and they're named Abby and Ava. And I, I always get confused with the names. I'm like, why do you name your kids the same name so close? Split it up. Well, you know, you know I mean, you, you've lived it. So my question is this. It seems like when you know twins, when, when you're growing up, there, there is a little bit, if they're identical, there is a little bit of, okay, just want to make sure that I've got the right person. Sure. As far as your names are concerned and everything. Well, because your parents are still dressing but, you in that kind of thing. But it just seems like when you're that age, you look a lot more, you look as similar as you're going to look. And then when you get older, you kind oh, of start to well, take on your... you make decisions about what you're going to do. You're right? not going to wear facial hair or this or that or whatever. Does your brother, do you and your brother still look like each other? Yeah, we do. We always try to change it up. Like, uh, I'm balding, so I just shave my head. Usually we try to do some form of different facial hair. Uh, we tried tattoos when we were younger, like visible tattoos, so people could identify <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> and we really tried it. didn't work. But So we have, do have a lot more other tattoos. But um, As usually he... now it's weight-wise. He's a little bit bigger than me. Okay, Super I was going to say, has he... Oh, you'll be quick to find out. Oh, he's the fat has, one. Has yeah. He been, yeah. Now, he, <laughs> oh, yeah. Has he ever been mistaken for you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time. Uh, you, you would be amazed. Like, I I, uh, I dated a gal in a different county with my fiance now, and everybody kept trying to figure out, because my brother also worked down in the county years ago at a boat building company that I was dating this gal in, and everybody thought that my brother was cheating on his wife dating this chick down here in, in the other county. And I'm, and so someone calls her going, your, your, your man's down here with another woman, and gets all pissed off, and it's like, no, no, wait, that's his twin brother. Don't know that there's no problem. That's his twin brother and his fiance. Don't worry. Okay. We get that all the time. Now, let me ask you this. Now, if your wife or girlfriend or whoever you're going out with at the time finds you physically attractive, now, obviously, yeah. you're going to kick some game and your personality is going to come into play. Are you ever just like, is it weird to know that when they meet your brother, that they more than likely are going to find them attractive as well? Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's your brother. It, it, there, there is always that, but oh, oh my fiance is going to kill me. We, I, I mean, we, she, we had a Christmas one time where she accidentally walked up and grabbed hold of my brother's butt, thinking it was me at the buffet table. But have you ever like? Had, has your brother ever had a girlfriend and she looked at you and like you could tell that she was giving you the look, like, hey, like you kick better game. Right. I like what you look like. You know what I'm but, saying? Uh, yeah, and I mean, it happens too when. A lot of women, like when I was single and I was going to places like my brother was at and all the single women going, oh, that's Adam's twin brother and all of them running up and hitting on you. And it's like, whoa, I, I'm not exactly him. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm my own person. Like, he's up, like, exactly. you know, thank you. See, I'm, like, not... I, I'm a country boy and he, he's a, see, he likes the city and, you know, and all that stuff. But I, I'm a country boy, so we dress different completely. Too. Well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they would love the country version yeah. of, of, of like, your ooh. brother. Like, I just wish he wasn't so uppity. You know what I mean? I wish he was just yeah. a down-to-earth guy who wore a flannel shirt. You know what I'm saying? And there you yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it, and it does happen. I mean, you do get the questions all the time, like, oh, have you ever tried to, like, to switch classes? We never tried that. It's like, that's uh, just dumb. Oh, and then you get the typical, have you ever tried sleep with each other's girls? It's like, no, man. It's like, it's respect. I'm, gonna, I'm not doing that. He might yeah, have done it to you, though. Point. Let me ask you this. <laughs> as far as switching classes, who would have benefited more? You, In other words, like, if my brother and I were twins, he would never want me to sit in his class because his grades would plummet. But he also wouldn't take a test. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, right. that's totally it. I'd have him go to my good classes that I need a good grades. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I was like, like, totally yeah. like, yeah, you're going to go do this. You're smarter than me. You got that one, buddy. Um, yeah, morally, your brother would never take a test for you. That's why he does what he does. I'm telling you, he would never cheat. He would never do any of that. He do, dude, he's such a rules guy. And this is this is no lie, right? So he's an NFL official. This has been well stated. People, man, it's kind of interesting. And it is, but knowing him my entire life, it's not a shock to anyone in the family. Because, again, as children, you know, a kid would have a Nerf football. It's Sunday afternoon. Let's play football. All the neighborhood shows up. I mean, you know, you're talking like nine on nine. There's a mm -hmm. ton of kids. But we'd wait for my brother to show up, and he would never play. He would never play. He'd put a rock and a paper towel, and he would officiate. And keep in mind, this is a kid who at this time is like 11 or 12 years old. And this is all he did. And he called everything to say. It didn't matter that I was his brother. I mean, he called everything. And Was it know, tackle or touch? Oh, it's kids. It was always tackle. Okay. You know. Mm -hmm. Because kids... 
you rarely get injured as a kid playing tackle. Like, look, when you play as kids, and I say it with my kids now, something goes south, you cry for five minutes, your buddy's kind of wait. Mm-hmm. And when you're done, you get back to whatever you're doing. You know, fell off the skateboard, ate it on concrete, right, kid right, cries right. for five minutes, and right back up. But yeah, my brother, it's like he's always done this. He has always done exactly what you see him do now. Our question besides your birth name, how many other names do you answer to? You are listening to The Men's Room. Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process, except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. 20 million dollars, 19 million dollars, 6 million dollars. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too big to fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. 